Well, hello, Christ Church. Um, welcome back into this living room. I am Nathan Glover. I am here with Marshall Bruce and Marcel Mason. And uh, we're going to be talking about fasting. I've noticed that, and, and it's, it's my opinion, that fasting is something that our culture discourages. Have you guys experienced that as well? And if you have, where have you seen that in our culture? Quite a few people that I've talked to about fasting, they always, the first thing they say is, well, I don't, I don't think my body would allow me to fast. You know, the first couple of times I did it, my body didn't feel great either. Mm. But you, allow to, you rely on the spirit to get mm. you through it. Yeah, I know for me, like, uh, when, I'm, when I'm in that mode and I'm, I'm fasting, the, the prayer that I pray is, Lord, help me want you more than I want this food right now, <laughs> yes. right? Yes. Because it just, it yes. teaches that. I first, like, thought about, like, practicing fasting. Um, and I've only, only done it one time. So, like, you know, definitely coming in with a, a different perspective. I, I honestly did not believe my body, body could handle it. And then learning that, like, our bodies can live on, three weeks without food was <laughs> Shocking to me because I, <laughs> here I was thinking that I couldn't go, you know, a couple hours uh, without it or I wouldn't be able to thrive. Mm -hmm. um, and so just like our whole cultural narrative on like health, I think is what made me believe that um, fasting was not uh, healthy or beneficial, that it was like that, that crazy practice mm -hmm. that like Christians practiced. Uh, yeah, I, I think for me, uh, one of the things that I notice is... Um, when we, when, uh, when we talk about people, a word that we throw around is the word consumer, mm -hmm. right? We're, we're people who consume. That's, yeah. And in America, I think that's a narrative about, like, we consume. And to, to not consume, at least to some people, is, is like a sin. And I think, I think that's something that people really have to work through because it's like, why, why are we doing this? Why would we, why would we actively pursue something that would tempt us? Why would we put ourselves in a position for temptation? I know for me, one of the reasons that I, I believe in fasting in my own life is that fasting is sort of like self-imposed temptation that creates like a practice field for when I face it in the real world. It prepares you for the life and ministry that God has for you. What are some fruits in your lives that you, that you feel like man, the Lord really gave me this through fasting or, or he showed up in this way through fasting? I feel like the fruit for me is like self-control. Mm. Um, and it's not so much of like looking to obtain self-control, but it's um, putting on the lens of like denying myself and what I want um, in hopes that the Spirit will guide like what I need or what others need. Um, I think the, the connection with the Holy Spirit, mm. you know, and the a sensitivity to God's voice is a really big one for me. And also answer prayers huh. is, a, is a really big one. If you're willing, would you speak into that at all? Just answer prayers? Yes, yes. Um, my older sister, she was going through some physical and mental health issues at the same time. And, mm. She was in and out of um, treatment centers and hospitals for about four years. Whoa. And um, I started really fasting and praying for her, and my mom did also. And he said to me, as plain as day in my spirit, if you continue to do the things that I have for you, I'll take care of your family. Um, she was the only one out of my mother's four, four children that didn't know the Lord. For 54 years of her life, we never heard her talk about Jesus, talk about God. But when he delivered her, now she's saying things about the Lord and she's quoting stuff from the Bible. So answer Jesus, prayers like that. Jesus, yeah, the awesome. Lord is, he's, he's, he's on a different level. Yeah, amen, bro. <laughs> amen. Yeah. So tell me, um, as you fasted, what are some challenges that you faced in, in your, your time of fasting? Like I said earlier, like I've only done like a real fast for like one time, 24 hours, but probably my biggest challenge is 
like I have such a fear of like I want to do it the right way mm -hmm. that it prevents me from I think uh, starting it regularly mm -hmm. um, but in order to do it the right way um, you know like don't tell anybody about it like just just do it and then that's where God will reward you mm -hmm. I think that like encouragement that the Lord gives to just do it in earnest mm -hmm. and it's just between the two of us Yes. I think that's going to encourage me like from tonight to go into it and just say like, you know, I don't have to do it the right way. Um, but like sometimes you just got to start and then figure something out like along the way, mm -hmm. I think. I think that's mm -hmm. a great point right it there. Is. I think that's it a is. great point. And, I, and there's is. lots of ways to fast. That's one of the things that you, you know, you're thinking, okay, fasting just means, all right, I'm drinking just water. The yeah. end. You know, that's <laughs> yeah. fasting. But there's all right. kinds of things. Because my, and the principle that I use when I'm thinking about fasting is if it's important to me, it's important to God. Yes. Yes. So if, 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 uh, if I'm doing a media fast, so I'm, you know, um, I had a, a young man I was fasting with and he, he fasted YouTube. That for him was taking a king off the throne and putting the king on it. We are encountering the opportunity to give into our flesh and do something we want to do, and we're saying, no, God is more important. That orientation of the will is something that has to happen in fasting, or the fast doesn't happen. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so no matter whether God provides any miracles, any special revelations, that has happened because you went on this journey. Yeah. And that's something to hold on to, whether, you, whether you're getting the feelings or they're not coming because that has happened.